and welcome back to my channel, Bell Yogi. My name is Michelle, and today we are going to do the fourth video in my series, Yoga for Your Cycle. So this video is great to do a few days before and a few days after you ovulate. This is a period of time where your energy levels are super high. You're going to be feeling more extroverted and wanting to get out there and to socialize with others. So this class will have a lot of standing poses. We'll be getting our heart rate up and using all that energy that we naturally have. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel below. Please hit the like button on this video and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, everyone, let's get started at the top of our mat in mountain pose. We're gonna start with our feet hip distance apart. Take your hands to heart center and close your eyes. And just start to set an intention for this practice. Set the intention for new things to flow to you easily. To letting life in. Let's inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And as you exhale, fold over your legs, forward fold. Take a moment or two here in this forward folded position. You can have a little bend in your knees, the back of the neck is long. Take three more breaths. And your inhale, take a flat back, lengthen through the spine, and then hands to the floor. Step your feet back, high plank. So shoulders right over the wrist. Press your heels back, engage your legs and your core. And on your next exhale, hips lift up and back, downward facing dog. From here, inhale, come forward into high plank. And exhale, hips lift up and back. Do that three more times with your breath. Good, from here, really just press into the floor. Make sure your hands are spread nice and wide. Your feet are at least hip distance apart, maybe even a little bit wider towards the edges of your mat. Then from here, take a big step forward with your right foot. So foot lands in the middle of your hands and your back heel is lifted. Now drop that left knee to the floor. Allow your hips to press forward and down. You can have blocks on either side of that front foot. And then just start to bend and extend through that right leg with your breath. Three to five times. If one of them feels like you might need to hold it a little longer, by all means, listen to your body. And then eventually step back into downward facing dog. You do the same thing with your left foot forward, right knee down, hips press forward and down. Allow those hips, hips to sink forward. And then start moving with your breath. Three to five of those. Eventually back into down dog. And from here, you'll shift forward into high plank, shoulders over wrists, and as you exhale, lower down halfway, chaturanga dandasana. On your inhale, press yourself up. See if you can get those thighs off the floor for upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Roll over your toes. From here, lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, walk or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands down by your side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. 
This time straight in the back, step your left foot back. This time you're gonna keep the back knee up and we'll begin again straightening and bending that right leg. So for me, it feels natural to, on the inhale, I straighten the leg and exhale bend, but you might feel a little differently here. And that's okay. Three to five again, and then when you're ready, right foot steps back, down dog. Lift the heels, bend the knees, look to the front, walk or hop to the front, lengthen and then fold. Rise, reach up, look up. Again, exhale, fold over your legs. Flat back. Right foot steps back to the back of the mat. Back knee is lifted up. Good, we're gonna start straightening and bending. Starting to warm up the back of the legs a lot. Bring some heat, some tapas to the body. And then left foot steps back, down dog. Good, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward, walk or hop to the front. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. And rise, reach up. Hands come down by your side. Okay, so from here, you're gonna shift the weight into the right foot, left knee is gonna lift up. You're gonna cross that left knee on top of right knee. Now you don't have to go into the full eagle bind, just knees crossed today. Arms come out, and since left leg is on top, left arm's gonna go underneath on the top. Hands can um, surround your shoulders here, or if it's better for you, take the back of the hands or palms together. Wherever you're at, try to lift your elbows up in line with your shoulders and then sink down just a little bit lower. Again, feeling that heat build here. Nice, on your next inhale, extend the knee up, the left knee up, and then we'll hinge forward from the waist, taking a warrior three variation. If your hands are here, that's fine, just reach your elbows forward. Gaze is more or less at the four. Good, and then take a big step back, reach your arms up, and open it up to warrior two. Good, shoulders in line with your your hands in line with your shoulders. And on your next inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the knee. Just do five of these. Aligning your breath, or your movement rather, to your breath. On your fifth one, you'll hold it here. And then flip the right palm up, reverse the warrior on your inhale, and exhale, you'll take it into side angle B. So you'll take the right arm on the inside of the right shin, left arm is straight up. You have the option of taking your elbow on the thigh, or you can take your hand all the way to the floor, or block. Lean your torso back, opening up through that hip. Keep the back glute firm, the left glute. Good, on your inhale, you're gonna push through the feet, come all the way back up, extend the leg, and then we'll step to the front of the mat. Back to mountain pose. So maybe just taking your hands to your body here, closing your eyes, and noticing all that energy that you just built in the body. Good, from here, you're going to Shift weight into the left foot. Cross that right knee on top of left. You want to sit down low so the knee's bent so it has a ledge. And then that right arm is going underneath the left. Hands can wrap around the shoulders. Again, back of the hands or palms come together as well. That's an option. Your next inhale, right knee lifts up towards the ceiling, and on your exhale, start to hinge forward from the waist. Reach your elbows forward more. Keep your gaze down. Your gaze can be uh, in front of your fingers, but your head is down so that the back of the neck is long. 
and then take a big gently, gentle step back, reach up, and open up to warrior two. So again here, you're gonna straighten on your inhale and exhale, bend. Do that four more times. Good, hold it here, warrior two. And then flip the palm up, reverse the warrior on your in-breath. And exhale again, you're gonna hinge from the waist, left arm is going inside the shin for the hardest variation there, in my opinion. Or you can take uh, elbow to thigh or hand to the floor. On your next inhale, press through the feet, come up, and then you'll take a big step forward to the front of your mat, back to mountain pose. All right, inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Lengthen the spine. Take your feet back, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. From here, point your toes, interlace the fingers on top of your seat. Exhale your breath. On your inhale, lift everything up. Hands go up towards the ceiling, gazes at the floor. Maybe bring the big toes together today. Unless you have any lower back tension, I would keep them wider. And then on your exhale, release one cheek to the mat and just let that go. Good, from here, come back to your chin or forehead, bend your knees, reach for your feet. Exhale all your breath. On your inhale, lift your feet up towards the ceiling. Press your feet into your hands. Bow pose, breathe. Keep reaching those toes up, 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 up towards the ceiling. And then release, left cheek to the mat, relax. Let it go and breathe into the ground. Good, gently press on to your backside now. We're going to bring the feet to the floor. Roll your upper body down. On your next inhale, press your feet into the floor. Lift your hips up to bridge. Press equally into your feet. Squeeze your glutes here. On your exhale, release your hands and lower down one vertebrae at a time. Relax for a moment. And going to it second time. This time try wheel if you'd like. Hands by your head, fingertips face down, come onto the crown of the head. Exhale your breath there. And then inhale, rise. Reach your pelvis towards the ceiling either way. Good, and then tuck your chin, lower down slowly. Once you get to the bottom, just take your feet as wide as your mat and drop your knees in towards each other, hands at your abdomen. Breathe into your hands. Good, and then let's extend the left leg long on the mat. Right knee drives into the chest, give that a nice squeeze. And you'll take it across your body over to the left side. Nice supine twist here. Your elbow can be straight out to the side or maybe um, in a goal post or straight out to the side. I like to take my left hand, gently suggest my knee a little further towards the floor with every exhalation. Beautiful, come back to center. Extend the right leg long, left knee into the chest, give that a nice hug. And then you'll take it across the body. Over to the right side, let your left arm go out to the side, left shoulder leg stays heavy into the floor. Good, and then 
come back through center. You'll hug both knees into your chest and take it into a happy baby. So knees go wider, hands can go behind the thighs, soles of the feet will lift up towards the ceiling. Option here to grab the feet and draw the knees in and down towards the ground. Good, and then you'll take your soles of the feet together, knees out wide, rest your hands back on your body wherever it's comfortable. If you need more support, you can have blocks underneath your thighs or pillows, bolsters, maybe even cover up with a blanket here that might feel nice. Take some time here to just be with yourself. Be with the breath. Feel each breath as it moves in and out of the body. Feel your abdomen rise and fall with each breath. Feel your body softening into the floor. And take your hands underneath your thighs and gently let your knees come back together. Roll onto one side and rest your head in your arms for a moment in fetal position. And gently make your way to a seated position. Draw your hands together in front of your heart and bow your chin to your chest. Feel gratitude for your beautiful body, all that it can do. Pretty magical. Delight in me. Humbly bow to the light in all of you. Namaste. Thank you all so much. Please check out the other videos in this series. I will link them below. If you like this video, press the like button and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Peace to everyone. Namaste.